Jaya, ha! This is Shiva Rajaya from VitalCoaching.com and we are talking about breakups for men and the topic for this video is what if your ex is invading your space? There is a very specific dynamic happening when you break up or when she breaks up. It is that a part of what she used to have with you, she might miss it. She might, she might miss the attention, the fact that she's no longer number one in your life. And so she's going to be texting you or coming into your life, coming with requests or demands or pressure, wanting to still be present in your field. And the reason why she's doing that is because she used to enjoy at least a part of what you were bringing to her life. The fact that she broke up with you now, you know, removes, her, removes you or removes her out of your life. But there is an aspect there that she, she might be missing. And so in the process of wanting to recover that or in the process of wanting to stay connected with you, still stay friends, she's going to try to, you know, have hooks, places where she can access you and be with you or stay connected with you. Not every woman will do that, but when this happens, it can feel really invasive in your life because you are trying to rebuild your life, right? You are trying to do, for instance, no contact and stay away from her. And at the same time, she keeps invading your space. And in the process of doing that, it makes it very difficult for you to rebuild your life. This is what is happening. You want to rebuild your life, right? Start connecting with other women and then she keeps on coming and invading your space. So what is the strategy that you can use for that? The first step is to understand that this is happening. Understand why she's doing it. She's not saying, I want to get back to you. You know, I, get, I don't want to get back with you in a relationship. What I want is to still have an energetic connection, a place where we are exchanging energy, where, where I feel your support. I feel that you are there for me. Something happens to me. Because she wants to feel that support. You know, she wants to feel that connection. And so the choice is yours. You know, you can decide how much connection you want to have with her. It can be a very narrow connection, just a couple of text messages here and there. Or it can be building consciously a friendship with her. Or it can be, for instance, absolutely no contact. It can be also developing some, some form of you know, soft intimacy with her, staying connected on an energetic and even on a physical level. You know, you have all these range and all these possibilities. But the, the thing that you have to, to understand is that what happens there with her is going to be your choice. And what you want to do is to design tactics, strategies, or ways of relating to her that are going to work for you. If you are relating to her from a place of openness and then this drains your energy every time you see her, you get really upset or angry or sad, you know, that's obviously not serving you. You are going into shadow zones, you are going to pain zones every time you see her. Why would you like, why would you want to keep exposing yourself to that? Right? This is the question. And so, rather than simply doing things because you have no choice, you are going to consciously design how you relate to her in the future. And uh, part of what you might need to do, if you feel like being exposed to her is not serving you, then is to set up really clear and strong boundaries and make, it, make her realize that she's no longer your priority. That in the process of breaking up, with you, she loses most of what you used to represent for her. So maybe that, that might mean that you're no longer building an active friendship with her, that you are no longer there for her, that she's no longer your priority. She's certainly no longer the number one woman in your life. She's not your primary partner anymore. And so all those privileges that she used to get by being your girl or your woman or your wife, your girlfriend, all that is gone. And if you want to be kind, you want to tolerate her presence or even want to enjoy it, that's still something that you can do. But the, the most important thing that you have to, to do right now is to bring awareness and realize that you have a choice. You have a vast range of possibilities and you can decide how much you allow her in your space or not. And so in the process of doing that, what you will notice is that sometimes you will have to say no to her. Stop texting me. I don't want to see you. I don't have time for you. You don't have to be harsh. You don't have to be, you know, aggressive with that, but you can be firm. 
I might do another video on that one, on how to communicate with your ex in ways that are effective and set up really, um, you know, strong and, and positive boundaries for you. For this one right now, it's like, what if she's invading your space? Just bring awareness to these dynamics and uh, make conscious choices with that. 